Are you wondering how to use sheet summaries in Smartsheet? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to access this functionality, set it up for your continued success, and most importantly, show you some examples of how we can leverage this to really support your reporting and data analysis in Smartsheet. So as you can see, I have loaded up an example sheet and I've put in various different columns and data for this demo. So you'll see that we've basically got various different tasks with different start end dates, duration, we've got health, status, etc. Now, what I'm gonna be sharing with you, you can absolutely leverage for various other types of sheets. So for example, you could do this on a budget sheet or a sheet that contains financials and lots of numbers. It's really effective for that. But for this, demo, I'm gonna be doing it on this kind of sheet, more like a project plan, if you like. So to access sheet summary, load up the sheet that you want to run the sheet summary on, and then navigate to the summary icon, which is on the right-hand side of the interface. You can see it here, it says summary. When you press that, you'll be greeted with this interface. Now Smartsheet have a really handy uh, video here, which explains why you would want to use sheet summary, but to save yourself a little bit of time, I've kind of mentioned this thus far, it's all about summarizing your data in one place and, and helping you with the reporting. Now, what you need to do is you need to set up different fields. So I'm gonna press this button here. And when you do that, the first thing you need to do is enter a name. You'll notice that there's various different types of fields that we can set up. It could be text number, contact list, date, etc. I'm gonna be walking you through some examples of those right now. The first one I'm going to show you is project name. So that could be really, really useful uh, to get a high level overview of kind of what sheets roll up to, if that makes sense. I'm then gonna press new field. Another good one would be something like project manager, okay? And I'm gonna do that as a contact list, but we could also do that as a drop down and a single select if we wanted to, but the contact list works really well for this. Other fields that simply make sense would be something like symbol. So I could have something like project health. And then what I could be, what I could do here is I could look for the status symbols. I'm gonna go for this one, red indicating at risk, yellow, um, there could be a, an issue if you like, green in progress on track, blue completed, that would make sense. So we've got those now here. Now the other fields that are really useful are, as I say, summarizing data. So as an example for this particular sheet, I'm gonna call this project duration. We'll leave it as text number, and this is where this particular functionality provides a lot of value. You can leverage formulas. So what I can do here is I could do something like equals sum, and then I could put in, let me select all of those, and then I'm gonna take out the specific cells because I want to map the whole column. So sum the duration column. If I hit enter now, it says 16. So I can then start leveraging this in you know, reports, dashboards, etc. cetera. Um, another example would be something like we could do a add new field. Let's have a look at um, completed tasks. This is another good one we could do. So completed tasks, text number, we could go equals count if, the range would be the status, comma, and I'm gonna say complete, in quotation marks, end, oh, close brackets. Five completed tasks. Now, of course, we could do that for in progress and not started as well. I won't do that because this video will go on for too long. Now, the other thing that you can do once you've set up your sheet summary is if you press this little icon here, you can copy to other sheets in your in your account basically. So you only need to set it up once and then you could replicate that sheet summary to other sheets. So it can be really, really effective if you've got say a series of you know, project plans in this example. Now the other thing that you can do is you can edit the fields and there's lo loads of other things you can do as well. So as an example, you can put some number formatting in, uh, you can put decimal places if you wanted to. So, um, you know, say if this was a budget, you know, let's just say, uh, let's just give you an example of that. If I just put a, a column left, let me just call this uh, task budget. And I'm just going to do, let's just put 100, 100, 100. Now that would actually be 200. 
Now I'm actually gonna turn that into a currency. And then what I do here in the sheet summary is let's just say project budget. Then what we could do is we could press okay. We could do equal sum. Um, it'd be something like that, that, and that in this example. And then what we could do is we could then do currency and put that into say dollars if you like. And then we can start playing around with um, you know decimal places if we wanted to, to as well, decrease the decimal, etc. Or increase the decimal. It's completely up to us what we want to do and how we want it to appear. Now the other things that we can do from this is we can even insert images, we can move the fields around with the uh, up, move up, move down, we can lock fields, we can delete them, there's lots of things that we can do. So that's how to use sheet summary. Very good way of analyzing data ready for reporting. If you have any questions, comments, feedback on this video or sheet summary in general, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. If you're looking for additional training on Smartsheet and getting up to scratch and becoming a Smartsheet power user, then there are links in the description below for you to head over and uh, you know view my latest and available courses. So with that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent